Curcumin is that Indian Asian spice that gives turmeric its yellow color. It's a, it's a curry. And if you add that to your diet or take it in a low dose supplement, it has a diverse range of beneficial health effects. So tell us about the study that recommends curcumin for healthy middle-aged people. Right, okay, that actually was done uh, in Diabetes Care, which is a major medical journal, and what they looked at uh, is treating people either with a placebo or with curcumin, and they used about a gram and a half of uh, curcumin for about nine months in this study. And what they found was is that of the 116 people who were in the placebo group, 19 people developed type 2 diabetes. And in the group that was given the curcumin, none. Mm. So we're looking at older people who are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And uh, this is something that's important for us to know about because it means that maybe we should be using a lot more spices like curcumin in our diet because they do a lot of interesting things to keep us healthy. We need to spice up our life. Yeah, well, I think Mother Nature is very clever. You know, Ed Bowman is one of my heroes. So. Nuts and seeds, herbs and spices, have a nice day. <laughs> and fruits and vegetables, <laughs> yeah. that's right. But the, but the seeds and, and nuts and the herbs and spices are really huge at providing nutrition that keeps us healthy. We get those essential fatty acids from the seeds and nuts, and there's so many different kinds of seasonings that we use in spices and herbs that are quite healthy for us. Well, curcumin has a lot of other health uh, benefits. It's good for Alzheimer's disease. Uh -huh. It's good for protecting from prostate cancer and uh -huh. from arthritis uh -huh. and heart failure. It lowers our triglyceride levels. Uh, it does. It helps with diabetes, we know now, and even helps with arthritis. And cardiovascular disease. I so. think it's a great antioxidant uh, that helps to uh, keep our bodies in, in a state where we're not aging too fast. It has a, a nice effect on keeping blood thin. I know we do a lot of live blood cell analyses in my practice, and when we find that blood is really sticky and congealed, if we go ahead and add a little curcumin to it, it seems to help really? a lot. So it's a great anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and, and anticoagulant. And plus it helps with insulin function. Yeah, for sure. So it, it probably works a little bit by boosting the effect of uh, its effect on beta cells of the pancreas, and those beta cells are the cells that produce insulin. So it may do that in a, in a way that's important, although we're not sure about it. Well, it so curcumin is not really just a magic bullet. I mean, you still have to live a healthy lifestyle, but it's something oh, to right. be aware about of and to add to your diet. Oh, I think so. I think when uh, you're thinking of healthy things to do we, or how to take care of ourselves, we should look at lifestyle first because there are no medicines that are as pow powerful as lifestyle is. So that should always come first. But there's nothing wrong with adding some curcumin, particularly if you're a little overweight or your cholesterol is not right or your triglycerides are up or you have hypertension or eating a lot of carbohydrates. Something that you could add to it that'll help some, but it's not the whole story. And you don't have to worry about the side effects that you get when you take the diabetic drugs. Oh, you they're could a get disaster. heart attacks and strokes, among other things. Well, those. they cause the very thing that you're trying to prevent. You look at drugs like Avandi, and it makes you, it makes me wonder why they're even on the market because it increases the risk for heart attacks by fifty to sixty percent, and the risk of dying from it is another fifty or sixty percent higher. So, what are we doing to control a little bit of uh, blood sugar levels uh, somewhat better? Lifestyle is the way to go here. So, I think that. Uh, Whenever you're talking about using a drug, it should be the last resort because almost never is a drug something that you can't expect to have some kind of effect that's negative on your on your biochemistry and, and physiology. That, and it seems that we keep finding more and more things that are helpful that are natural for diabetes. Right. So when you're thinking about prevention, lifestyle first, but if you aren't doing the best job that you could, I mean, curcumin is a pretty good spice to use anyway in your food. Add a little curcumin, and chances are you'll have a little bit more reserve that protects you against getting type 2 diabetes.